Hi friends, now we are solving a problem on differential equation. The given problem is, solve 1 plus x square into dy by dx plus 2xy is equal to 4x square and y of 0 is equal to 0. Okay. By the observation, we can say dy by dx is nothing but first order and the dy by dx power 1 is 1. So you can say it is a first order and first degree differential equation. We have a uh, different solutions to solve the first order and first degree. The first method we have a uh, like uh, variable separables and uh, exact non-exact, homogeneous, non-homogeneous and later we have a uh, linear differential equation. In generally the linear differential equation is of the form dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x. You see friends, left side should not be x terms. So what we have to do, the given equation, we have to differentiate with respect to 1 plus x square on both sides. Then dy by dx plus 2x by 1 plus x square into y is equal to 4x square by 1 plus x square. This is the given differential equation. We are divided with 1 plus x square. Now this one you can compare with dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x which is a non-exact, which are non-exact differential equation. So, to make it as exact, we will multiply with the integrating factor. What is the integrating factor means? e to the power of integral of p of x dx. What is p of x here? y question. Here, what is p of x? 2x by 1 plus x square. So, you can write e to the power of integral of 2x by 1 plus x square into dx. Now, you see, numerator is there and denominator is there. So, it is a fractional fraction function, nothing but your rational function that is. So, in this case, you can say denominator derivative is in the numerator or not. 1 plus x square derivative is nothing but what? 0 plus 2x, nothing but 2x. Yes, denominator derivative in the numerator. So, you can say log of denominator. What is the denominator I have? 1 plus x square. So, e and log getting cancelled. In this case, you will have 1 plus x square is an integrating factor. In this case, the general solution is y into integrating factor is equal to integral of q of x into integrating factor dx plus c. So, y into, what is integrating factor I have? 1 plus x square is equal to integral of q of x. What is the q of x you see? Right side what I have? 4x square plus, four, sorry, 4x square by 1 plus x square. 4x square by 1 plus x square into dx. Okay. Now, into, sorry, integrating factor. What is integrating factor? 1 plus x square into dx plus c. Now, denominator 1 plus x square, numerator 1 plus x square getting cancelled. Now, you will have 4 common, uh, 4 is a constant, so you can take outside. Then, 4x square dx plus c. What is integration of x square? x cube by 3. Integration of x square is x cube by 3. So, 4 x cube by 3 plus c. Which value this is? 1 plus x square. y into 1 plus x square is equal to this one. Where c is any arbitrary constant. But the given problem you observe, they are given solve 1 plus x square into dy by dx plus 2xy is equal to 4x square comma y of 0 is equal to 0 they are given. So, this is called the initial condition. Why they are giving the conditions is nothing but to eliminate the arbitrary constants they will give the condition. If they are uh, given a condition at one fixed point then you can say condition at one fixed point means may they will give y of 0 is equal to 0 and uh, y dash of 0 is equal to 2 y double dash of 0 is equal to 1 if they are given. Where we are discussing y, y dash, y double dash at one point, that is at zero, fixed point, then you can say these conditions are called initial condition. Suppose if they are given, this is the first one, and second condition, y of 1 is equal to 2 if they are given. First, they are discussing y at zero, and second, they are discussing y at 1. So, in this case, you can say boundary condition. First point and second point, both are different. When we are discussing uh, at different points, then you can say that is boundary condition. At the same point, you can say initial condition. Anyway, now we have y of 0 is equal to 0. Nothing but uh, y of x is equal to x naught. y of x naught is equal to y naught here. Nothing but at x is equal to 0, y value is 0. So, put x is equal to 0, then you have y 0. Na? So, 0 plus 1 plus 0 is equal to 4 by 3 times of 0 plus c. Now, you want to find out this c value. 0 
into this term is 0. This is 0. Therefore, you can say c is equal to 0. Hence, what you, what you will get the solution? y into 1 plus x square is equal to 4 by 3 times of x cube. That's it. This is the final solution. This solution is called particular solution. In this case, c won't be available. So, we are replacing c value for the particular values at x equal to 0. Is it clear for everyone? Thank you for watching this video.